intro. Mm -hmm. uh, oops, LinkedIn is not approved. Okay, go live anyway. Okay, edit. Let me get rid of this one. Uh, how do you get rid of this one? Edit, remove all. Stupid. And remove. And then save changes. And I think we are on. And I'm going to run this short video real quick. everyone um we are on live with you guys here at the real south africa we decided since we're out um out adventuring here in south africa we, we got one of our our special people here with us and i'm gonna let her go ahead and explain who she is so you go ahead google tell them who you are hi everyone my name is Gugu sitole i am from glamping adventures we are a glamorous camping company based in South Africa. We are based in Johannesburg, but travel the whole country. So we basically set up camps at different locations, iconic locations, I might add, in South Africa. So we're all about fun, we're all about adventure, we're all about meeting people and making memories. Excellent, excellent. Well, first of all, you know, you guys, you know, we always talk about tourism. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is tourism. She's she's part of it. She's part of the tourism mechanism. And, you know, there's always a reason to do something here in South Africa. So, uh, Gugu, what, what is your idea of tourism in here in South Africa? So it is it is it is about going out there and, and discovering um, the gems that South Africa has. We've got so much to see and so much to do. So uh, to me, that's just about um, going out there, exploring South Africa is so much possibilities and, 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 and every day I discover something about South Africa. Well, uh, it's funny you say that because I feel the exact same way. We're out in Hartie's Beach Port or Hartie's and um, we've been here before. And, 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 and as we've been riding around, we're like, we haven't seen that before. We haven't seen this. So we were happy to come out and to have the opportunity to, to, to actually get invited to come look at and to see what South Africa you know, has to offer. So, so let me ask you this easy question. Why? Why do you think? Why do you think that African Americans, uh, or especially those in the diaspora, not just the African Americans, should come to South Africa? Why? Well, number one, I think it's 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 the beauty that South Africa is. It is just a yeah. beautiful country, but also there's just so many misconceptions about South Africa, about Africa as a whole. You know, um, if mm -hmm. you come to South. Uh, you will get to experience, you know, our hospitality firsthand. Um, you will get to see what the real South Africa is all about, because it's definitely not what you see in, in, in the media. So come to South Africa, experience the rich culture, meet the amazing people, the quality of life. It is just an amazing place to be. There is just like I always say, you know, there's just so much to see. So um, it's not something that you'll regret. Come to South Africa, you love it. Okay, you guys, y'all guys heard it from Google. She, she's telling you that you need to come to South Africa for so many reasons. And I think one of the best reasons that I can think of as a as a as um, someone that's from somewhere else um, is the people. Um, you know, you get people like, you get people like Google who's a, who who who's done so much here in South Africa, and she's promoted tourism, you know, for people that are in the country. So if you're watching this and you're in the country, um, she's actually speaking to you as well. So 
don't think that she's not because she has a she has her own company as well. We're going to talk about that in just a moment. But before we move on, um, uh, Google, tell them a little bit about you. Tell them where you're from, you know, what your culture is. Things like that, because most most uh, most people outside of South Africa, they don't know the difference between this, that and the third. So can you give them a little bit so they understand who you are? OK, so I am 100 percent Zulu. I am a Zulu girl. I was born <laughs> in KZN. <laughs> uh -huh. KZN is a province in South Africa. So we've got nine provinces in South Africa. And KZN stands for Wazulu Natal. Um, yeah. That's where I'm from. I was born in Wazulu Natal. I speak Zulu. I grew up in Johannesburg, though. So um, although my home language is Zulu, I speak four other languages because of uh, where uh. I'm so, Yes, I was raised in Soweto. Uh, on Vinagazi Street, to be precise, and I'm sure that a lot of people would know, you know, um, a thing about you about Vinagazi. I mean, Vinagazi Street is the most famous street in in in, in South Africa. You know, uh, we boast two Nobel Peace uh, Prize winners, which is um, Nelson Mandela and uh, Desmond Tutu. So I was yeah. raised in in Orlando West in Vinagazi Street, and um, I was also fortunate to, to be part of a rich um, cosmopolitan, you know, culture. We've had people from all over South Africa, people from all over the world. So that exposure, I think, actually is what led me to where I am today, you know, um, saying I want to bring people together because if people come together, they share stories. You know, there's just so much um, to talk about. You know, there's just so much to 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 give, you know, to each other, you know, in terms of our culture. I told you that I'm born in KZN, but raised in Soweto. Yeah. I think my neighbors were, were, were Sutu speaking, and right opposite me, the Botswana speaking, and then we had vendors. So I was able to to grow up, you know, in, in all those cultures, which has made me, you know, sort of like a citizen of South the whole, you know, South Africa, not just, you know, a Zulu girl from KZN. So it, it, it made me streetwise, it made me appreciate other people, their cultures, their background, and, want to, and let me to want to learn more about people and, and hence today I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm meeting people from all over the world. I've traveled, um, you know, within South Africa as well as outside South Africa. You know, I was counting the mm -hmm. other day. I've actually done 25 countries, you know. So, okay. um, but what excites me more now is, um, you know, although COVID has, has altered the way that we do, do things, the, the way that we travel, it has opened my eyes, you know, to the possibilities that I hear in my backyard, you know, stuff that we've always taken for granted because it's here and it's always there. I am yeah. discovering unexplored territories in South Africa, and every day I am in awe. I'm like, South Africa is beautiful, guys. Can we just explore our you know, backyard before we go elsewhere? Because there's just so much. So, yeah. Okay, okay. Well, I, I, I think you hit on a few things that, that, that kind of near and dear to my heart, as you say, you know, you. You know, you are you are Zulu speaking girl, but you've mm -hmm. been around other cultures, so it kind of it kind of molded you in a lot of ways because you were in Johannesburg. Um, I'm in Johannesburg, and I think being around people who speak different languages and different type people, I think even at, at, at my advanced age, now I'm just playing, but at my <laughs> advanced age, um, it it's, it rubs off on me routinely, um, and and it is changing me, and, and I'm I'm becoming more. I'm going to say it, South African, um, you know, every day uh, and, and so forth. So I really, I really do like that part of, of what you just said and whatnot. And, and it's funny being in Johannesburg that you we, we run across everyone. I think we run across every culture in Johannesburg. Would you agree? That's 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 correct. That is, I mean, Johannesburg is is the best place, you know, to you find everyone from everywhere. You know? mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've noticed that, um, which which is good, which is I think is good. It's a good little 
you know, melting pot um, and so forth. So, okay, okay, okay. Is there anything else you wanna you you wanna share with with us about the Zulu culture and and something that that somebody outside the uh, off off the continent or somebody in the diaspora wouldn't know besides eating pot? Uh, well, um, <laughs> you know, without sound, sounding pompous, but uh, I think the Zulu is is the most spoken, like, most spoken, like the most spoken language in in South Africa. I think uh, so. And um, and uh, a lot of people have said that uh, Zulu women are very really, um, polite and respectful. So if you score yourself if you, a, a Zulu woman, you are the luckiest man ever. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. And um, yeah, of course, King Shaka was of uh, the Zulu nation, and of course. Um, we're very hospitable people. We love people. We love mixing with other cultures and yeah, loudly and proudly South African. Yes, 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 yes. One day I'll be able to say I'm proudly South African. One day. No, I'll just play. Yeah. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm here in South I'm currently in South Africa right now. Um for those who just joined us, we are having having an adventure, a glamping adventure as right in front of you. Um, we are with the owner of, of, of Glamping Adventures. Her name is Guku Sitoli. Uh, she's from she's from KZN, and I hope I said your I said your surname properly. But I, I, I do the best I can. Yeah, there you go. Thank yeah. you for the thank you for the assist. Um, yeah. But yeah, she does, and I mentioned that because she owns a a very 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 nice company, and I love what she does for a lot of reasons. And I think what she does is she's a, she's a, she's is actually exposing South Africans and those that are from the in the diaspora because I've been to one of her events um, when I went there there were other diasporans people that were from the US there at her events so she's um, she's very popular and she's very good at at what she does in the in the glamping space so what I'm going to do at this point I'm going to let her tell you a little bit more about her glamping space mm -hmm. Go so for it. Yes, I get very excited when you ask me about glamping. Like it's it's my passion. I love what I do. Um, so we travel across South Africa. We go to different destinations. Um, you know, um, because we we love South Africa. We and we want as many people to to, to experience you know, what South Africa has to offer. So we offer tented accommodation. So we nomadic, we move from one place to another. So we've got like exactly. an, yes, yes. So we've got like a we've got an annual calendar. Um and um you know people can get to see where we'll be in, in, in the month of, of, of May, in the month of June, July, and then they can make arrangements with us, you know, to say this is where I want to be. And um, we also allow payment terms, so um, people can can start paying off. You know, a trip that is in December, they can start now. Um, we we set up our tents, so we can have glamping because we're not your ordinary camping. So we add a bit of glam, you know, a bit of uh, you know panache, you know, to to camping. So um, you don't have to own your own tent. You don't have to to put up your own tent, you know, we, we put up everything for you. So we set up the tents for you. So the package that we offer, it includes the tent, it includes um, the furniture in the tent, it includes meals, it includes activities. So all you do is just show up, you know, you, you get greeted, you know, with a glass of bubbles, we all come into camp. Mm -hmm. And um, we have the most adventurous times, we meet people. Because most of the time, people will just book as you know, a couple, or you book as a solo traveler. Families, mm -hmm. book, you know, to join us at these adventures. So people get there and as strangers, but they leave as friends. You know, we, we we do everything together. We sit around the campfire. We tell stories. We talk about where we come from. You know, what has led us to 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 be where we are. You know. 
why do we want to explore South Africa and the stories that come out of those, you know, um, those discussions out of those, you know, camp um, fire, you know, in the evenings, it's just amazing. So um, the environment is, is very relaxed, you know, it's, it's, it's meeting people, it's, it's, um, it's, it's all about adventure, you know, you, we, we do adventures like your bungee jumps, we do river rafting, we do horse riding. You know, people get scared of doing stuff and then you find like the whole group, you know, cheering, you know, um, each other on to try this, you know. So it's, 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 it's totally amazing. You know, I always say that um, I'm so fortunate to be in this position because I get to meet a whole lot of people and that have that have just made my life so much richer, you know. So um, it's all about exploring, it's all about adventure, meeting people, eating. We eat like nobody's business. And I always say yeah. when people ask, forget about your diets, you know, because we're going to have fun, we're going to eat, and we're going to tell stories, and we're going to have an amazing time. So that's what glamping is all about. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I will, I will second that emotion, um, all the way around. I know I got there. First of all, like you said, you get there, you have no idea, you know, what is going to be. There's a lot of people that are their first timers and they don't know what to expect, but they're like, you know what? I, I, I saw Google somehow, some way like people are doing today. And they're like, you know, I really want to do something different. I want to get a strong introduction to some of these locations. And of course we went to Grasscop and um, mm -hmm. we went out there and we was greeted with bubbly. Everything was in order. Um, I, I really enjoyed the fact that I didn't have to set up a tent this time. Mm -hmm. um, it was already done for me. You had a wonderful staff of people, um, you know, who you work with to include moms. Uh, I think she did great. I think moms did great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did that. And, but yeah, it was it was everything that it, people, everything that she said this is, it is. And if and, and especially if you're in South Africa, you probably matter of fact, I'm going to I'm going to demand that you go on a on a glamping adventure because it's not like she goes places that that you don't want to go. You want to go there. You want to go there and you want to go there properly. Uh, you don't have to worry about food, you don't have to worry about anything. Just show up and she will have everything sorted out for you. Um, the last thing I'm going to mention about that part is the simple fact that you do get there. You don't know anyone. You don't know anyone. So if you're a single person and you just say, I just want to go, then 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 just go because she will make she will make sure 100 percent by the time day the, 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 the first day you're going to be meeting good people and to include herself. Um, and you're going to be meeting some 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 travelers from far away from different provinces and they're going to be like i'm here we are here for the same thing and then at, at night you're all sitting around the fire you're all telling stories telling lies whatever you want to say it's fun you know it's it's it's, it's really good um and then you could just you could just go from there so that's basically what we are doing here um at at the at the real at the at at, at glamping's adventures and of course the real south africa because we do support that as well yeah and i think um the other thing that really makes me proud mark is um the fact that we've got people that just keep coming back you know um and also that recommend other people you know um as i said we travel around the country so we we rove. um we've got people that that follow us everywhere you know and mm -hmm. and then we've got um People that just call us and say, "Hi, my name is this person. I'd like to book. Um, I know everything about you guys. I've never, I've never traveled with you, but I don't need any information. I just need booking details because this person, you know, because Mark told me about you and the picture that Mark painted is amazing, and I want to be a part of it. We have so many recommendations, and." That's one thing that just humbles me, and I'd like to thank all our people that come to a glimpse, that come over and over, and then that bring other people. It's it's totally totally amazing. I've got a few, in fact, a lot of solos that come and 
the second trip they're not solo anymore because they've partnered with a solo that they met you know at, a, at another gland it's just the connections are just so so amazing you know um people meet that they 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 have similar interests, they have business interests, and it, and it all happens there. It is just totally out of this world. So thank you to everybody that, that joins us as these, that recommends other people, and that we keep on coming back again and again. Exactly. Now, I just want people to know that sometimes it's, it's, it's difficult to, to, to run a, a, a business. And so with all the support that, like I said, the people who came before, they, you know, you obviously the service was tip top. They really enjoyed their time. And then they come back themselves. And then they always seem to bring back someone else um, to their adventure because they're like, I got to have it. So, so, so tell me about the challenges just a little bit about, you know, you running your business and, and being able to provide this type of, of, of service to those that are interested in, in what you do. Okay, so um, in terms of, um, you know, with, with any business, you know, there's, there's going to be challenges, you know, and I, I think I always say that um, it's great, it, it's okay to have challenges when you start because that's, that's actually where you learn how, how, how things are done and, you know. Um, we've um, in the past had, um, you know, challenges of things that we, we don't own, um, the places that we visit, you know, so we sort of like at the mercy of the suppliers. But then what I've realized is that it's very really important to to build relationships with with, with suppliers. You know, yes. um, we 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 adhere to the rules of of, of the venues that we go to. Um, you know, we book different campsites, and they have various rules and. Um, it's just communicating to, to our campers as well that we are being hosted here. So this is how we actually, you know, need to take care of the places that we visit, you know. So um, that challenge, I think that challenge was actually um, that's something that we could work on and good supplier relationships are very, very crucial in, in this business. Yeah. So, um, and then with um, COVID as well, it presented us with a lot of challenges um, with, with um, people cancel, canceling sometimes um, last minute. And it could be understandable yeah. because maybe they, they got exposed, you know, somehow. And I mean, in the business that we do, we, we, we travel with all our equipment, you know, so you find that you get to, 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 to camp and you've got all your equipment and you find that um, two or three tents are going to be empty because somebody has canceled, you know, last minute. Yeah. So COVID has been, you know, a challenge for us. Um, but also what we've done is that, um, you know, um, to overcome this, we've said to, to the people that that with, with us, you know, our glampers that, you know, should you encounter a problem of that sort, we will then allow you to to transfer, you know, into another into another plan. So we encourage okay. people not to, to cancel but to postpone, you know. Um, and also we give them that um, that 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 um, you know commitment that should they be because you know a, a lot of the times people want to book but then they say what happens if there's another lockdown. You know, um, we've lost money before with other operators. Then what happened? So we always we tell them that should there be a lockdown, we don't cancel. We transfer to we postpone, and then you, you can transfer to any other any other plant. And we give you twelve months. You know, um, yeah, to, to have a look at which one tickles your fancy, and you know, uh, there's no pressure to go on the next one. You know. So you can yeah. look at the camera and decide to go, you know, 10 months down the line or whatever. So, so COVID has been our most, you know, challenging time, but we are learning to, to, to work, with, you know, within the times that we're in. Well, uh, it's funny you say that, because I think what you, with the, 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 what you said in, in reference to, um, you know, 
uh, canceling and, and then rescheduling. Um, it's standard practice. Um, and so I think you're being very fair as a business owner. You're being extremely you know, fair. And, and, and I would say to people, based off everything that I've seen that, that you've done and with the staff and the people that you work with, you put a lot of effort into making these adventures happen. And just just for people's edu edu um, you know, you know, education, just kind of list some of the places that you go when you do your glamping events. Just, just tell them where you go. Okay, so um, maybe let me start on, on okay, so we've, we've gone to um, Fresco, that's where you, you, you joined us. So Fresco yeah. um, is, is in Bumalanga, beautiful part of the country, uh, beautiful landscapes, it's just amazing, you know? Mm -hmm. So um, we, we do activities, we go to places like um, the Fresco Gorge, um, God's Window, um, there's many um, waterfalls, you know, to see like your Mac Mac Falls or these ones. I mean, um, it's part of the panorama route. Amazing. So we go mm -hmm. to such places and, um, and your package includes all of that. It includes your, your accommodation, your meals, your activities. So it's all in there. And then uh, we do Drakensburg. We love the Drakensburg and it's very popular. Yeah, yeah I heard um, that was tough. A, a, lot of, a lot of hiking. A lot of hiking. It's 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 tough. So we <laughs> we hike the Tugela Gorge. That one's not for sissies, but I yeah. must say that. Uh, <laughs> we, stay away. <laughs> <laughs> actually, don't stay away. Hey, yeah. um, I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come. I got. I got. I got to work on it. <laughs> yeah, we've got a shorter route now. Hey, so okay. um, if 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 the Tugela Gorge intimidates you. We've got uh, one that's called the Cascades. It's a shorter, very scenic, beautiful. So I'll yeah, see you in the <laughs> Yeah, for us, if it was pensioners, that's what we need to yeah. be. <laughs> <laughs> <Excuse me. laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. So, so, so that, it, it, that's just amazing. Also beautiful natural springs. Um, people just never want to, to, to leave the bird, you know? And then we we do um, we do um, horse riding there as well. Also, I mean, amazing, okay. uh, you know, like riding while you know looking at the amphitheater at at those beautiful mountains. It's just amazing. And then we do um, Clarence, which is in the free state. So we yeah. can, um, the uh, we we camp out at um, Golden Gate. Uh, yeah. Also, the landscape, you know, um, part of the Drakensberg mountain, part of the same, you know, Maluti um, mountains, which is, I mean, Maluti is the, you know, the suit to Drakensberg, you know, the whole area. Totally, totally uh -huh. amazing. You a hike there, you also do it. It's a grueling hike. That is a hike. So um, we do hikes there, we do other activities like um, we do zip lines, we do horse running as well. So, um, so that, and then we do, we've just introduced um, uh, glamping on the beach. Uh, so we're going to be doing the, the coast now, uh, coming yeah. up in June. So we're running away from the cold in Johannesburg and we're going to the coast. So, okay. um, Balito in Durban, and after that, we will be doing Richards Bay, um, it's a place called Mutunzini. So, we'll be having boat cruises, we'll be um, doing walks on the on the beach, we'll be doing rides. Um, we it's just it's going to be very amazing, it's going to be cool and warm while everybody is freezing in Durban. Yes, yeah, see, so that's me. Yeah. I, can, summer, I, can, I can do we're that. I can do that. <laughs> we're chasing summer, and I think uh, okay. a lot of people um, people have not really been exposed to to that type of campaign because it's like right there, you know, like we, we're being tamed and then hearing the waves. It's just so peaceful. It's lovely. So we're getting a lot of inquiries. So if people are really interested in uh, coastal camping, June. Yeah. Is the month that we are doing it, don't miss out. We get really fill up we fill up really quickly. Um we're doing um 
Kruger National Park at the end of um, April. We already fully okay. booked, and um, people are not happy with me. We have there's no space before, so yeah, yeah. We, so yeah, contact us and uh, let us make your your getaway exciting and fun. Good, 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 good. Well, um, there's a question here from Safiway Dubey. Mm -hmm. uh, can you see it? And it's to you. To, to oh yeah, yes, definitely. Glamping cases for families. We love, we love families. We love children. Um, they're very, um, you know, child friendly. Um, in fact, uh, at the Kruger, we we have um, families more than anything else. So I don't know. I think sometimes it's it's just the area. It's just you know we advertise and we just get families, you know, and and sometimes we just get singles and friends and I don't know how this works. But yes, families are welcome. Um, just uh, hit us up. Um, these are uh, details on the screen, and we'll give you all the different packages and different pricing for children. Okay, so it it all makes sense. So yeah, I think um, I think when I went out there, um, they, they, I saw some some young folk, um, yep. and of course they all, they always excelling. They always saying, "Excuse me, sir, let me get past it." But they're very polite yeah. and, uh, <laughs> and 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 whatnot. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, is what did you see um, as far as as your company is concerned? Like any levels of like expansion? Are you going to do other areas? Like any areas in 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 uh, South Africa that you want to conquer next? Yes, yes, definitely. Um, I'm very much passionate about uh, rural tourism. Um, I feel like there's just so much to be done. I feel like there's so much development to be done, but also I feel like there's just so much there that we are not seeing or have not been exposed to you know um yes. they are they are you know they, they're your main you know like your centers like you're talking durban you're talking cape town um and and, and johannesburg but there's just those hidden gems of the eastern cape you know there the, when you talk about the wild coast and um so unexplored so rich in history so so rich in in, in, in diversity. So um, we are going to be um, like going deep in, into that, into, into developing rural tourism because also um, it's not just about, you know, the beauties in the areas that we, that we visit, but it's also about what we can do, you know, what we can leave behind, you know, um, you know in terms of, in terms of um, scaling, you know, the communities that, that actually uh, live there, you know, so giving back to the communities that we visit. Um, I feel like this this, this is the, the next step for us um, to, 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 to really explore and to, to, to focus on, on, on developing rural tourism. Okay, okay. I, I, I will say, you know, again, you know, I could say I, I like what you're doing, I love what you're doing. It's pretty clear with my accent that I'm not from South Africa, but we do connect um, on a on a lot of levels. And I and and you know, I'm an entrepreneur. You're an entrepreneur. Uh, we we happen to connect, and here we are. And 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 to me, it's just a beautiful thing that South Africa has so much in the tourism space, and we both decide to you know to you know to occupy it, and we want to bring people the best, the best that we can find. So we're consistently and constantly. You know, honing our craft, getting our skills up. We're constantly working at it every day. When people go away, I'm 100% sure you're thinking about what can we do next? What can we do better um, mm -hmm. to give people that experience? Because we really, we really do care about you know what we do, and and I, and I think you feel the same way. Am I am I right? Yes, yes, hundred percent. You know, if if you're not passionate about something, then don't do it. You know, um, this is passion. I live, uh, you know, the clamping brand. I live, you know, um, South Africa. You know, it's all about, you know, preaching. You know, about about yeah. how, how fortunate we are to 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 be here. You know, to be surrounded by 
but so much, you know, you know, God's creation, we are, we are in a very good space, you know. Mm -hmm. Yes, Mr. Yes. Matlangu, I see you. We'll, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we are we are we we are seeing your 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 inquiry and um we're on it thank you <laughs> okay okay now let me let me let me let me take this let me let me punt this all the way back you know to the u.s and i and i did ask you a question why should people from the u.s come uh, you know to south africa but could you could you tell tell the people you know, you know, from your perspective as a, as a Zulu woman, a girl, as you mentioned earlier, um, does do do South Africans like um, you know those in the diaspora too, especially those those um, you know African Americans? Do they actually you know like African Americans? I don't know. That's a loaded question, but I must ask. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yes. The answer is a definite yes, you know, um, and I and I'd like to believe that I speak, you know, for um, for majority of, of of South Africans, you know, when I say that um, we love, um, you know, uh, you know, people to to visit us, you know, we are very hospitable, you know, people, yeah. you know, as an and um, you know, when you're talking about Americans, I mean, growing up, we <laughs> it was so funny how <laughs> everything that we did centered around, you know, America and American. It was it was the dress sense, you know. It was it was how we spoke, you know, when we thought we were being cool, you know, everything. I think yeah. that pop culture, like America, was like everybody wanted to be American. Everybody wanted to 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 go to America, and I, I'm, I'm saying that, you know, as young people, you know, and yeah. we're like very influenced by, um, by you know, um, the whole American pop culture and stuff like that. So, so, um, but bringing it now, you know, to, to where we are, um, we, we are, you know, a hospitable country, we love visitors, we, we like to show off, you know, our country, you know, we, yes. Like there's so much to see, so much to 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 share, and we want to 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 share that with the rest of the world, you know. So um, I say, come join us. Let us uh, let us just explore this country together. Well, I will say that you guys have a very nice playground here. You mm -hmm. just do, and you need people to play with. So here we come. Here we come, and and again, our our whole mission is, um, you know, is, is several different things, but the biggest um, mission is because South Africa doesn't get marketed to us, especially in the in the diaspora and in in, in in North America. We just we never hear about it. We don't hear anything, mm -hmm. uh, you know, for no real reason. We just don't, and so we don't have any real reference point. We don't have any real anything about what's going on in South Africa. So I think, you know, with you, with you sitting here and they have the opportunity to hear you speak, you know, all your languages. And I mean, you're very impressive with, you know, with that, um, knowing your culture, uh, even though you grew up in, in Halting in Johannesburg. Mm -hmm. and, and of course, you know, you've been, you know, your 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 cultures from KZN and another province. Um, like I said, you represent it very well. And so, you know, we want our company, The Real South Africa, we want people to see people such as yourself, you know, on screens in America, because this video that we're doing, this live video will be seen several times by several different people. And, and they're gonna be like, wow, that's what's going on, you know? And then we hopefully, and I'm sure, um, people uh, can see your contact details in the bottom and um, mm -hmm. they can maybe, you know, go ahead and shoot your emails, go to your website, Go to your Instagram. I'm kind of telling you as very slowly, people. Go to your Instagram. <laughs> I'm telling you, go there and, and 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 book a trip. Even if you are going to book it out, you know, you know, five six months from now, book a trip um, to go glamping. And it's it is trust me, she takes care of you. Things 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 are nice. It's it's well worth it. And like I said, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be sitting here professing 
you know, what I know um, with my experience uh, if, the, if, if the experience wasn't, wasn't awesome and so forth. So um, we're actually going to have, um, you, know, uh, you know, more conversations um, about, about the experiences. I will say this is that she does bring so many people together. I mean, I think I, I think you have what, about forty people each time, or is it more? How many people do you normally have, Kruger? We've, we've kept Kruger. We've kept it at fifty, and, and not because um, you know, uh, because we just we want to keep it intimate as well. You know, yes. uh, we get many more inquiries, but I think um, I value. Um, meeting individual people, you know, I, I want to know you by name. You know, when when all is done and we we're going back home, you know, after a glam, I I want to be able to remember people's names. You know, that to me makes makes us who we are. We mm -hmm. we just don't have a you know crowd of people that just come and go. We, we want to 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 create connections. So um, Kruger, we closed it at fifty. We're getting many many more inquiries, but that's just what we want. So um, yeah, so I mean, fifty is a good crowd. Um, I think when you came, there were just over 40, 40 people, and um, yeah, that that's still a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's no, it was it was a lot. Yeah, it was a lot. And, and, go ahead. Considering the fact that we do two two glamps a month, so we're meeting about a hundred, you know, people in a month, mm -hmm. you know. So okay. Yeah. Well, I I I think I spoke to everyone there. Uh, <laughs> I spoke to, and you know, it was people I didn't know, and then within you know, first day, we were all sitting around. You know, of course, you know, there's a little, it's the, you know, a, a few cool, a few cooler boxes hanging around. I, I'm, yes, I'm, not, I'm just saying, I know people in America are like, what are you talking about? Uh, people in South Africa, we know what a cooler box means. It's about to start mm -hmm. happening. Yeah. <laughs> I remember very well. You were, you were yeah. one of the last people to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> You guys sat around the fire until the early hours of the morning. <laughs> yeah, it's two o'clock in the morning. People still up, and we got to be up at six. And you know, breakfast is yeah. served. Um, you make sure that mm -hmm. happens. Um, one thing, one thing I will bring to, bring to light is that it's it, for for those who've never been glamping uh, or even spent any time outside. It's very well organized. Uh, I know the, the where we went. It was it was it was sorted. She made sure there was Wi Fi available. You made sure mm -hmm. that there was power available so people can charge up their phones. I mean, you made sure mm -hmm. everything was there. And that's important. Yes. That's important. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe if you could just um, share a bit of an itinerary for, for the people just to get an understanding of what happens. So um, it's weekend, these, these glimpses are weekend getaway. So we arrive on a Friday. Um, we normally say that, well, check in time is from one o'clock. So, um, but people normally arrive at different times. Uh, but one o'clock, you check in, your tent will be ready when you arrive. And then you have um, your lunch at two. And at four o'clock, we close the kitchen. So, lunch is now going to serve at the four so that the kitchen can start preparing for dinner. Um, in between that time, we are welcoming people as they come in dripping dreads. And um, at six o'clock, we gather, we, we do intros. We do, um, you know, a uh, meet and greet, and then we have dinner at seven. And then after dinner, we'll have like campfire stories and games, and uh, we will, um, you know, retire to bed at in, in at any time. And then we wake up in the morning on a Saturday. We have a full hot breakfast, and then we start with the activities. So the whole day on Saturday is jam packed with activities and then we, we have lunch together we have dinner again together um, buying off marshmallows more campfire stories and on uh -huh. sunday we have breakfast and we depart so that's just basically how 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 the weekend is like exactly 
And then hopefully, you know, yeah. we're, we're doing, and one thing I want people to know, especially those in the U.S. that's watching this and that are going to watch it, you know, South Africa did very well with COVID. And when I say very well, I mean, we lost a lot of people, but at the same time, they actually wore masks. They actually, they, uh, well, we, um, you know, sanitized our hands. We took all yes. the measures that we could, um, even down in the townships and in the villages, they did the same. And mm -hmm. now our numbers are, are very respectable here mm -hmm. in, in South Africa. And for those that are coming from other parts of the world, um, you just need a, you just need a, you know, you, it's, it's, it isn't like you need a vaccination to get to South Africa. <laughs> Only thing you do need, you just need to have a negative PCR test. That's the one with the swab that goes all the way to the back of your brain. But they, they, you got to do it. Um, but, and that's all South Africa requires. And then, of course, when you get here, please just put your mask on. Just put, well, if you come with the real South Africa, you're wearing a mask. And you, that's just the way it is. And everywhere you go, you're going to sanitize. Uh, and that's what we do. And, and that's the standard here in the Republic of South Africa. But what I will say to you guys, I really want you guys, if you look at the bottom of the screen, you see everything you need to know um, to, uh, to contact Google. Um, her email address is there. Uh, her all uh, her socials are there. I'm gonna let that run a couple a little bit longer because I really I really think that this business here that 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 she's created out of thin air because it was like no nothing there and then now it's something there um, that's thriving. Uh, I think everyone should be a part of it and every and, and, and it's a it's a soft landing spot to figure out what it's like to be outside for uh, over a weekend. So. Google, I have I have one question for you. What's the what's the real what's the real South Africa to you? Wow. I know, the right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's no wrong answer. It's, it's the people. It is it is, you know, that the spirit of Ubuntu. Um I'm not sure if you've heard uh, of, the, of the phrase, you know, um, it is it is about, you know, I am because you are. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So it, the spirit of Ubuntu embodies who we are as a people. We are welcoming people. We love yeah. people. We want visitors to come and see our beautiful country. So the real South Africa to me is all about sharing, welcoming, and, and, and just and just loving people. That's who we are. That is the real South Africa. Abundance, you know, in terms of, 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 of culture. Come mm -hmm. and witness yourself. But one thing that you must know, once you get here, you don't want to go back. <laughs> Girl. Let me, let me, you know, for the, especially those, uh, everyone, everybody can listen to what I'm saying. You know, we have people that come here all the time. We, 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 people come, they, we've had people that literally have, you know, cause we have payment plans. Sometimes people want need payment plans. They pay, they pay a hundred dollars every month. And, and, and they've gotten to the point to where they're like, I really want to come to South Africa. They're here. And then they get here and they, you know, they come for seven days. And I can be the first to tell you, these are grown people, grown people. They're grown. And they get back to O.R. Tambo Airport. And they shed a little tear. They're a little sad. And, and, mm -hmm. and, and it's not like they're playing because they got an opportunity to spend some time in South Africa with some, some proper South Africans. They've had Shez and Yama. They've ate some pop. They have sat down and ate with their hands. And they've done, you know, just some of the things that you guys do on a regular basis that you, that you, you know, in some ways take for granted. And we don't get that at home. We don't get to be as black as we would like to be. But you guys do it unapolog unapologetically every day. And yeah, so that's 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 my little story. And I'm sticking to it. And um, we got somebody coming in, I think, tomorrow, uh, uh, Sunday, one of these days. Um, and we got several groups of people coming in and, and whatnot. And so we just we just want people to understand that there's there's a lot going on 
here in here in South Africa, and your company is part of it. Um, your company is 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 truly what tourism actually is, um, as far as I'm concerned, and that's why we're having this conversation, and we hope to have more conversations if if you will allow it. Yes, yes. Anytime we hear, we love talking to you. When we hear from you, we get excited, like, yay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's how that's how we feel. Honestly. We be yeah. like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I said, let me just let me just impromptu stick this together. You came through and, and we appreciate it and so forth. So yeah. So everyone, like again, um, especially those who will see this video later, uh, this video will be on our channel um for a while, uh, for a long time, actually, for until until. And um, mm -hmm. I'm sure Google, you can always reach out to her. She'd be so happy to, to hear from you, to answer all your questions. I know there are people out there who have some inhibitions about being outside for more than, than 20 minutes, you know, but she can she can make it comfortable and she can show you what it's like to go mm -hmm. hiking, camping, show you the nature. She's, she's vetted everything. She's checked everything, all the blocks. She, she did all the work. So just come enjoy it. That's all I have. You have anything else, Gugu? Anything else? Yes, yes. Um, just Go for it. one thing. As much as we uh, we do our scheduled trips, you know, um, that are always in the um, on our calendar. If you are interested in putting together your own private um, event and you're wanting us to set up anywhere in South Africa, we've got your own group. We just require that the minimum numbers be twenty then we can set up a private um, camp for you for the weekend or even uh, during the course of the week, whenever. So we do tailor make solutions for, for people that, that want a private um, function as well. So you can hit us up for that as well. So yeah, thank you. Man. All right. Excellent, excellent. Well, until next time, you guys, I will see you later. You can always go to our YouTube channel uh, like and subscribe. We do have an interview with her that we did some time ago and our whole, I think it's like an hour long um, video we got on our channel, uh, basically, you know, showing exactly um, uh, what, she's, uh, what she does as, as a business owner. So until then, we will chat with you later and uh, stay safe. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs>